Okay, in this short video, I am going to be showing you how the virtual field trips to the Grand Canyon work, sort of how to use them, what's there, etc. You're going to be using these to explore a location of your choice uh, in more detail. So first of all, when you click the link to one of the virtual field trips, either the South Rim or the North Rim, they look the same, they work the same. I'm showing you the one from the South Rim, but the one from the North Rim looks and works uh, just the same. So when you first get there, what pops up is this. This is a short overview, overview video of how these field trips work, basically containing, telling you about all the same things I'm about to tell you, but you can watch it if you'd like. If you scroll down on the left, you have to put your mouse on the left-hand side in this sort of yellow part. There are a few other links here. One is to the geology overview video, which you have just watched, but you can find it here again. And there are a number of other fun things to look at, like interactive geologic, uh, geologic maps, uh, etc. But the main meat, the main part of this field trip is uh, lower down. So again, if I keep the mouse in the yellow part on the left and scroll down, I get to what I'm calling a number of field trip stops, places you can go along the, the rim of the canyon or down within canyon and see interesting geology. So the first one is that desert view and along the Tanner Trail. There's one at Lippin and Navajo, Navajo viewpoints, Grand View and Yavapai viewpoints. Uh, along a hike down to the river and back along the South Kaibab and Bright Angel Trails, uh, along the Trail of Time, at a number of points, Hopi, Mojave, Abyss, and Pima viewpoints, and that's the end. So your job is to pick one of these field trip stops. It doesn't matter which one, whichever one interests you most, to take a look at the materials here um, and then do a little bit of a write-up on it. Uh, basic idea is to have you explore location in more detail. Um, and tell the world about it. So I'm going to show you the stuff at Desert View and Tanner Trail for no particular reason. Um, they all work about the same. So the first thing that pops up when you have one of these stops um, here is the short introductory video. If it doesn't pop up, you can click the link here. There it is again. And that's what it sounds like. It's a more detailed overview of the important geology that you can see from that stop, from that point. Uh, they're five minutes, seven minutes, something like that, pretty short. Once you've watched that, then there are a bunch of links to various kinds of images for you to explore in more detail. For example, here's one, the view from Desert View Annotated. So I've drawn on it to, to point out the important things that you can see from Desert View. And the images like this, many of them you can zoom in like this and zoom out. They're extremely high resolution images. Then in some cases, they're hundreds of individual digital photographs stitched together so they're extremely high resolution. You can zoom way, way in and zoom way, way out. And you can grab the image and move left and right in case you wanted to say, zoom in over here. So there's a bunch of high resolution, highly zoomable images. Here's another one, for example, showing what this thing called the East Kaibab monocline, super important for the geologic history. Um, there's also another one which is not annotated, but it's even higher resolution. So we can zoom all the way in down to the river and take a look at the rocks down there and, and see what's happened. And there are also these special kind of images thought, called 360 degree photographs, sometimes called photospheres. It's a special camera which can see in all directions. Um, and so it's kind of like standing there and looking around. You can drag the image and look around. You can look up at the sky. You can look down, which you'll always see my fingers in the top of my head, my fingers holding the camera. Basic idea is it allows you to virtually stand in the spot and look around and feel what it uh, feels like to, to stand in that spot. So here's a few more from the Tanner Graben. Um, roughly same view, but from a different spot. Here's down along the trail, this place called 75 Mile Canyon, which is this really steep canyon here. And after you watch the introductory geology video, <clears throat> you understand why I'm talking about pirates. Um, here's the 360 view from the same spot. So there's 75 Mile Canyon, there's Tanner Canyon. Um, and in some of the stops, there are a collection of photographs and short videos um, organized into slideshows uh, like this one, some of which are hosted in Facebook, some are hosted in other places, doesn't really matter. Um, and you can clip through these images um, uh, as well. 
So that's what each field trip stop looks like. It has some regular photographs, it has some 360 degree images, it has some super high resolution zoomable images, and it has a short introductory video um, for you to watch. So with that, you're gonna pick a spot. You're going to explore that spot in detail using all those resources. Uh, and then you're gonna tell us about it in the discussion post. And so the uh, instructions for how to do that are given in the uh, course announcement um, for this class, so you can find out the details there. Okay, that is the end of this little intro. If you need anything, uh, any questions about this, please let me know. Enjoy.